This video shows the process that I go through to create my art quilts. It will begin with the drawing process, go through the dyeing process, and then end up with the sewing process that I use. Everything actually begins in Photoshop where I create the drawing for the image. I use different layers of text that I have scanned in and I erase out the areas that I want to be lighter as I layer one of those over the top of others. Eventually an image comes out of that. I then invert the image, black is white, white is black, and segment that out into about 48 different panels for the final quilt. Here I am using Jacquard Products uh, Solar Fast. Uh, this is a dye that uh, is activated with UV light and uh, here I apply it with the foam brush and then I am kind of tapping off the excess there before I put it under the light. So I just use a, a regular transparency, a piece of plastic that's gone through the printer and um, stick that on top of the fabric and I put a piece of glass over it to kind of flatten it out, and then I put it under the UV lights. The UV, actual UV light bulbs are a little more consistent, but you can do this just with uh, sunlight as well. While the dye is darkening under the light, I prepare the bath that the fabric will go in afterwards with the washout solution. This stops the dye from continuing to darken under light. Um, so I kind of rinse off the transparencies in case I want to use them later. Uh, and then I'm soaking each of the fabric panels inside of this bath of the Solar Fast washout. And then I vigorously wash that out. There's a few different ways that you can do this. You do it with warm water. And it just makes sure that that doesn't continue to darken at all because that will kind of ruin the image. Then you're going to let it dry and eventually I stick all of the panels together to make sure that they're all in the right place and to make sure that they have the right value in case I need to redo one. Then I begin the sewing process. This starts out with different pairs of panels that I pin and then sew together. As you'll see here after I go through it once on the machine, I check it and usually um, it's okay, but sometimes it needs to be sewn a little closer in so that the letters will match up. I want the image to read correctly, but I also want the text to read correctly in the images, and so sometimes I'll have to even take a seam out and re-sew it. Here I'm putting three pairs together to make a row, and the same thing, I'm just checking to make sure there isn't a line through there that is separating the two panels. And I get those all set and have several different rows that I have to sew together. Before I put the rows together to make the full larger panel, I sew all the seams over to one side. This just makes sure that it is flattened when I create the final quilt. And then I do it on the top side of it too, uh, just to make sure that it is completely flattened there. At that point, I'm ready to sew all of the rows together to make the final image uh, and this takes a, quite a bit of finagling to make sure that everything lines up there can be some aspects of it that are off a little bit but just to make sure that all the letters come together and the image comes together the way that it needs to now because things are slightly off i need to square up the edges of the whole image um, so that the final quilt will be uh, a consistent size both vertically and horizontally. So here you can see me doing that. At that point, it's ready for me to sew on the border pieces. So one on the top, one on the bottom, and one on each of the sides. And once I have that all on there, I need to square it up again. Um, but this time I have pinned in place the backing fabric and the batting that will give it a little bit of thickness or loft. So basically what I'm doing here is sewing those all together almost like a giant pillow but leaving a little space so that I can turn it inside out again. Then I go through and pin with safety pins the whole thing back together to make sure that it doesn't shift and have any kind of bubbled areas when I finally work on the quilting stitches and here I am doing the actual quilting where I'm sewing on the surface. 
And so first I do the border area, which is basically a bunch of concentric rectangles around that area. And then in the background, I decided to do vertical stitching, which allows you to read the text a little bit better. And then on the figure, I ended up doing that with horizontal stitching that goes back and forth across the surface of the entire figure. And that is one of my art quilts. If you want to know more about this work and any other pieces, go to tyruscluttercom